And what's up, everybody? Dragon's Corner. Dragon Cherry. So today, I, you know, 323 dropped Friday. It was at the 10th or 11th of May. And I have just kind of last night and tonight been able to get a little bit of time on it. I did my certs. Um, you know, play a little bit of vulturing. And I tried to get in some bounties. So there seems to be a lot of, like, WTF moments surrounding the bounties, surrounding how they're done, like, how people are handling them. Uh, and admittedly, there's a few myself. So I just wanted to kind of share with you a few of these WTF moments um, through a fresh recording. And again, attempt to recreate them. And they're not necessarily game breaking, but it is stuff that, you know, I had somebody show me some of them and some of the, a couple of them, I, one or one or two of them, I know I, I had someone else kind of say, hey, did you do it with this? But then there's another thing where I'm like, what, why isn't this working? So let's explore, shall we? Okay, so the first thing being, uh, you know, how we, we I, don't, I don't know, if you're anything like me, you like to have this as your primary fire group and this is your secondary fire group. Um, but, I mean, they had this problem in previous patches too. What we're going to do is we're just going to come here. We're going to, uh, you know, switch them all over. And I'll show you why this is an issue. So we come here, we go over, right? Turn around, we'll set it flare counts. Right? And so then what we're going to do is we're going to back out here. We're going to just go back to our target status. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to nav mode. So we switch over to nav mode. I switch back. And our weapon groups don't stay. So that's something that you kind of need to be aware of in the event that uh, you are playing a class that's got multiple uh, firing groups um, to kind of combat this for the little bit of uh, the little bit and extremely mitigated uh, ship combat I do I just kind of like drop out 15k switch weapons over and then I'm good to go because just by nature I like this being on my primary trigger on my sticks and I like this being on my secondary uh, it ultimately isn't a big issue I'd imagine they're gonna fix it but it's something that uh, you know is kind of the way it is at the time being uh second of that it's an option that i was shown which severely makes things so much easier so what we're going to do we're going to come here we're going to come to our options come to our key bindings come down here to advanced control so you know how you got that little itty bitty um targeting hip well there's a way you can actually make it bigger and it's right here. It's gunnery UI magnification. You can, I have it set for a toggle, so you could turn it up, you know, on and off, uh, you know, in case you want it to look a little better. Uh, and in the next clip during a, um, during my first, uh, my first uh, bounty, I'll show what I, show you what I mean by that. Turn it on or off. I just have it set to a toggle, and I have it set to caps lock. Um, you can set it to whatever you want. I, I personally use voice attack for this one because once you set it, it kind of stays for the time that you're in that ship, uh, if not just in the time that pilot seat. So just be aware of that. But this one here, you got know, it's a it change from that little itty bitty tiny thing. And I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate that to you in a minute. And, uh, and there's that. Uh, the next thing that you want to be aware of is there's things like camera shake, um, like shutting these off, shutting this off really helps with your, uh, with your, with your overall game performance makes the game look really good but it really really kind of dumbs things down you got motion blur which i personally don't use it just because it the, then especially with the way things shake it doesn't really doesn't really work out all that well i mean and there's other things too like there's um uh, like camera shake where is it all down here like g-force and you can remove head movement a g-force induced head bob and afterburner zoom and global camera shake. I have these all set to zero. They do make a bit of a difference in the current um, in the current uh, setting, but they don't completely eliminate it. But they do make it a little better. So if you do have motion sickness and that kind of stuff, that will help. Anyways, uh, let's get to the actual combat for a couple of key observations. 
and we'll be right back. And the other thing, another thing that that uh, I, I covered in my master modes video is we do have our three modes, correct? We have our nav mode, our quantum mode, SCM mode, and what I call landing mode. So when you're landing gear down, just keep this in mind. The most, the max you can go is about 30 meters a second. Now that's the max you can go is 30 meters a second. So now we remove our, our proper landing gear up. Shift does its, uh, its little thing. We can go to our SCM speed or our nav speed. There is a setting for it. And once we get jumped to DMR, I will find it. And I don't use it personally, it's a toggle. And uh, when, when I give me a second, I will come back when I find it. Okay, so to find that setting, I don't have a key bound, but we come down here, come to key bindings, come to uh, our, our key binding sets. Now I do use mouse and keyboard. I do use a thing. Um, I do use sticks, but I'm gonna show you where to find it. So I'm gonna come down here to flight movement. And we kind of come all the way to the bottom and it's here automatic precision mode toggle so this will uh this will allow you to eliminate the hole when you're landing gear down you slow right down at 30 meters a second i should really have this set for hot drops uh, but once i do that i will um I'll, I'll take care of that when need be but you just press this you only do it once and then generally for your session i believe if not just for your time within the ship it'll eliminate that but there is no right now there is no um setting for just permanently set which kind of sucks but as long as you know this you're coming in a hot drop situation you can change it and you can flip it back and forth as required okay so I'm, i've arrived here and i chose a vlrt for a very specific reason so first of all we're going to do the whole pain in the ass thing i was switching my my uh my guns over oh no i do want that so reset everything we're gonna queue up a couple of missiles when we go into this so this is gonna be a bit of a slow run in but i want to prove my point point. and the reason being from my observations missiles as long as they don't have shields or as long as they have shields don't do anything really they don't they uh they you know, they do a little bit of damage, but they don't drop the shields. They don't, like, one-shot small ships like they used to, especially with two size twos. They like 3,000 damage, and if it's a, like, a single size one shield ship, that should at the very least disable it. But, unfortunately, it doesn't, unless they've done a hot patch between last night and tonight, which is a grand possibility. Uh, but I'll show you what I mean. So you see the missile lock looks different. I'm gonna fire two out. That's a small little 100 eye. Like that should have demolished it, but it didn't. So you see that small little pip there? Like that demolished it. That small little pip, and we're gonna press our, uh, our uh, keybind to switch it. Now you see how it's a lot bigger? And then while uh, our lasers are on, on refill, destroyed. do that. So that's that's the other um, the other thing that I highly recommend you do. You never run a full laser build in this as well. I'm not saying it's not viable, uh, but you might want to consider running it on multiple gun groups because these require the like the, I know these are laser cannons. But all of your lasers recover a lot slower now. So you need to be able to you need to be able to um, be able to like bounce back and forth so you consistently have so whenever possible in this current build, I'm always gonna have a laser and ballistic. Because that right there gives me while well, these are recovering, I have ballistics. Or when the blisters are overheating, I have these. So you always have that constant source of DPS. Uh, okay, so I want to show you one more thing that I think is a big change. It's a nice change. 
and that is looting when you're doing your first person stuff or even just a short little uh, short little bunker as well um because um there's a bit of changes with that too okay so the next major change you're gonna see is in the fps you're gonna see a whole bunch of uh dare i say it another game um influence like that dynamic cursor there um you'll notice a couple of different uh how should we say nuances that i'm not a huge fan of but i mean it is a, it is what it is it's the game right one good thing i do like about it is that everything seems to run a little bit smoother i mean the guns look a lot better AI with this being, I am on a fairly low pop server right now, so AI is going to be quite snappy. So what you're going to notice the big deal is the uh, the loot, like the loot table. If you see here, you can cl click and drag. Let me find a uh, find a body now. I was hoping to find a couple of guys to shoot for, yeah? So you see what happens, but, uh, which is why I'm not a huge, super huge fan of it. Here I'm talking. Let's see. I think this might be a bugged bunker, but anyways. Maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, it was a bugged bunker. Burn it. Anyways, so here's your new uh, your new UI. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab. You just hold F to equip stuff. I mean, honestly, the uh, the guns look pretty uh, pretty neat. What we're gonna do is just loot. Oops, come on, let's loot. So when you loot, you can literally drag right from body to body, and then you can select the different parts of the armor that you're pulling from too. Like this guy, this dude has FS9 ammo, but we're also going to grab his E4 ammo. And then you can uh, very easily just click and drag, manage your stuff from here. And grab these two just because I'm here. And, uh, and yeah. And basically, this is how you're going to manage your inventory, which I think is kind of neat. And you can just keep doing the same thing. Um, and I do think this bunker is bugged, unfortunately. I'm just going to loot a couple more guys for you. And yeah, so you'll notice a big difference when it comes to your looting. Um, the other big thing that I really like is that once you run out of belt ammo, start to pull from your backpack. It takes a little longer to, to load from your backpack, but in a pinch, the very least you can you can reload in a pinch so with that being said everybody thank you very much um this is more this is more of just kind of like some of my observations from the last few hours i played with the game um feel free to comment down below if you have anything you'd like to add any little tips and tricks any little little tidbits you happen to know because we're all learning right this is all about what we're learning but don't forget to drop a comment if you if you do have anything you'd like to add to it. Leave a like and subscribe if this is the kind of stuff you look at. Anyways, thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.